Since our last session, there have been some important changes to OpenTunes, as shown in 1.0.2. Now, in the X sheet, keyframes are indicated whenever we use the Level Edit tool, as well as changes to a skeleton when using the Skeleton tool or the Plastic tool. The File menu has some changes as well. Most importantly, the Save All command, as well as the deletion of some other functions. Now, in the Customize menu, we have Preferences, Configure Shortcuts, as well as the Scene Setting Preferences. Let's change some of those now. To make our level strip drawings a little easier to see, let's adjust the background color to a pure white. Don't forget to apply those changes. In this session, primarily to save space, we'll be adding a second level to a single column. This will allow us to have a fresh set of drawings for that level, all expressed in one column. This new level will start where our old level ended. Creating a second level in one column is as simple as clicking on another cell somewhere further down in the column followed by adding some content to that frame. When clicking on either of the cells in this column, we can see the name of that level expressed in the header at the very top. Let's now return to our original file and check out our animation that we have so far. Some of the animation of our ball is leaving the camera space. Let's adjust that with the Level Edit tool by moving it to the right. We could also change the entire scale of this animation using the Scale function of the Level Edit tool. Note that after making these changes, two keyframes have been added to this column. Let's add a second level to column 3 by clicking in the cell which marks the end of the old animation. Using the Geometric tool and the Circle function, Hold the Alt key down to draw the circle from the middle, adjusting the stroke of the new circle to match that of the old. I've used the Style Picker tool to match the color of our original circle. Match the diameter of the stroke in the original circle by dragging on this icon. Adjust the transparency of this color by dragging left on the M slider. We'll be using the Selection tool and the Control Point Editor tool to make our changes to the ball. This next sequence of drawings will feature the ball rolling uphill and coming to a stop in a lower patch. We'll construct this simple animation by spacing out key drawings in the level strip and then filling in the blanks between. As a reference, trace the contour of the top of this rock formation first. This drawing will only appear in key locations in the level strip. Using your keyboard shortcuts, duplicate this drawing and then insert blank frames between the two. Having selected the last drawing in the sequence, extend your onion skins upward. Using your selection tool, select the circle and move it to a location which indicates a key drawing in the sequence. Use the Control Point Editor tool to give our circle a more organic shape. Once satisfied with the result, duplicate this frame and then insert blank frames between it and the last frame. We'll be using this same process to create all the key drawings indicating the key positions of the ball as it moves across the top of the rock formation. Once these key drawings are positioned, we'll then fill in the blanks by copying and pasting the previous frame.
In this key position, we'll distort the shape of the ball as it slips down the precipice. The purpose of this short sequence is to give humanity to the ball, to make something dead come alive. To view the progression of this sequence of drawings, drag on this strip backward and forward at the bottom of the playback controls. Let's see if we can use the magic of the automatic in-betweener to produce the in-between drawings in this segment. First, use Control X to cut the contour from the drawings. Holding the Shift key down, select all the in-between drawings and then press In-Between. The result is less than satisfactory. In this instance, I'm afraid we'll have to induce a little sweat. Having the selection tool in our grasp, return to the first frame, copy this drawing, go to the second frame, and paste the drawing. We'll use this tool to adjust its shape and give it a more organic shape using the Control Point Editor tool. Once satisfied with both its shape and position, we'll move to the next frame, having copied the previous frame. Use Control V to paste this drawing into the next frame. Repeat this procedure until you've filled in all the blank frames between the first frame and our next key position drawing. To accurately control the position of our drawing, we'll need to extend the onion skins to include the following drawing as well. It will be represented in blue. To check your progress, deactivate the onion skins and drag the slider at the bottom of the playback controls. Use your keyboard shortcut to duplicate this key position drawing and then insert blank frames. Continue creating the next sequence of in-betweens by copying and pasting into the following frame and then making the necessary adjustments. Since we're animating in the straight-ahead fashion, at any point we can decide to create a new key drawing. Let's do that now allowing the ball to pause and take account of his surroundings. Gradually stretching himself upward, he looks first to the left and then to the right before proceeding with his roll. Having taken into account his surroundings, he returns to his ball-like shape. Since this sequence was inserted rather unexpectedly, we'll need to add some blank frames between the end of this sequence and the next. Don't forget to drag the proceeding onion skin marker down to include the next key drawing.
Even though we're using digital tools to produce these results, the process is very like the traditional workflow, where the key artist creates the key drawings, and then the in-betweener fills the blanks between these key drawings. Overall, it is a labor-intensive and tedious task. If any of your drawings become rather lumpy, use the iron tool to smooth out the edges and then produce the final results with the control point editor tool. To create a smooth transition of in-between drawings, we'll need to insert some more blank frames. Zoom into your workspace to get tighter control of your overall drawing process. Deactivate your onion skins and then move the slider at the bottom of the playback controls to see your progress.